is hey family como estas bienvenidos it's your girl back with another video and we are doing makeup empties and skincare empties i thought i wanted to separate this just because it's a super long video but i think in the future maybe i will do monthly and it will incorporate everything i am going to be keeping these because i want to tally these at the end of the year just to see how much i've used up how much i'm spending and everything in the previous video um that's like hair and hair care and um, body care are usually like things that are repetitive body scrubs body washes hair products those are the type of things that you're going to see a lot in my empties but this one is a specialized one because these are like my beauty empties things that i actually can like mentally think about and i can see let's go into skincare first because i kind of wanted to categorize this where i can like mentally see how much i'm using within a year it is october so this is um from my last one this is what i've used since the last empties but a lot of these are things that i have like been working on throughout the year have been in project pans i kind of want to keep a tally just because at the end of the year i do want to do it the inventory because i am cutting everything in half in terms of like spending beauty products all that kind of stuff because i want to concentrate and save some money in some other areas you know what i'm saying okay you already have something use it up you know buy something else or get rid of that because it's just accumulating expired products that we don't like okay so let's start off do i have any cleansers let's see okay so we're starting off how we apply items to our face this is the pearly's blue lotus four in one cleansing milk I did like this when I repurchased it. I get these in Ipsy Glam Bags and BoxyCharms and Beauty Subscriptions. This is the full size and I did like it. I would repurchase it, um, but I get those in that. So me usually coming out of my own pocket for things like this, I usually don't have to do, but I thought that it was really nice. It was very moisturizing and I feel like for mature skin, if you have like extremely dry skin, this is something that you're gonna love in the fall and winter. And I liked it. This is another cleanser. This is the Cleansing Balm by Elemis. So I did go through two so far cleansers. And I might, um, will I be finishing another one? Maybe. But this, throughout the year, these are two cleansers that I have finished. This one is an oil cleanser, like removing makeup. So I'm really happy I got through that. And this. So those are cleansers. Let's look at the category of moisturizers. Maybe I'll pull them all out at the same time. One, two. I have two, no, three moisturizers, okay? I have the Sika Plus Balm by Dewy Sale. I really, really enjoyed this. I do have another one of these and I cannot wait to use it and I'm sad that I'm gonna run out. So I really like this. This is the Aqua Balm True Belief uh true cream by belief and i also have this by shop now i love this brand this is a brand that i did a review on and i absolutely love and nobody talks about this but these this would these are like repurchases these all three would be repurchased brands that i would go back to but i really like these um so so far three moisturizers since the last time i can't remember what it was before but i like those let's talk about serums let's go through here and see how many serums i have gotten through okay so so far this is the radiance firming serum really like this this is from shop as well i'm almost done with their cleanser so we might have a couple of cleansers to talk about but this is the radiance uh serum and i really like this as well oh this is toner in the toner category this is the Let's see, this is the uh, Pixie Glow to On The Go. Um, I really enjoyed this and that would I would repurchase. Let's go into primers. One, two, three. Okay, so three primers. I have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I finished this earlier in the year. Um, I really do enjoy this. I would repurchase that. This is the Kula Dawn Patrol Classic Primer. Really like this because it has SPF in it. So I would repurchase this. And the Pacifica Coconut Probiotic Water Cream would repurchase this. I really like it. And um, I really like those. Let's go to BB Creams. Okay. I totally finished a Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. Really like that. 
this I didn't get all the way through but I did like it it's the SPF medium dark organic BB cream by Kula I did like it but it expired on me too quickly so I'm thinking that something like this this is 1.5 ounces I think I just need to chill with a one ounce and um, yeah it SPF 30 was good in that <clears throat> this is something that I wasn't a fan of this is the <coughs> This is the Derma E Tenant Moisturizing BB Cream SPF 30. It looked gray on me. It was the color, but everything else, I usually really like Derma E, but this was not, I was not a fan of. I did use as much as I could as possible. And I would say I used maybe a fourth of this, but I don't, I just didn't like the color. It was totally unappealing, so I would not repurchase that. Um, and finally this expired on me but I use quite a bit of this and I do have a larger size of this and that's the only one that I think I'm going to use until that expires and this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC color correcting full coverage cream really really do enjoy this and um, I really I have the larger the jumbo size of this so I have to really work on that so that is something that I do love. Let's talk about concealers. How many concealers have I gone through? Ooh, concealers um, is something that I'm excited about. Five concealers, two, uh, two Tarte shape tapes, one in medium, one in tan. The Complexion Fix Concealers by Ville Cosmetics, one in 5N. That's one I use for color correcting and 4N is in tan and then I'll make it forever this is the the invisible cover HD ultra HD and this one is in the pink so I was using this as a color corrector so basically two color corrector three concealers um, and this year oh another color corrector this is the Eve pearl this is the secret salmon concealer and um, the texture went bad on me but I use a, quite a bit of this I use a lot of concealer that's good to know I finished one perfume completely oh and it looks like it's a little bit more in there this is called dead sexy really like this my husband like that too um i know i have some more empties that's gonna come but this is the brow Vo conditioning primer i love this i have a backup of the backup and i really really like this so use that up let's go to sprays <coughs> oh a foundation I used this I mean this is super old but I've been using the mess out of this this is the Laura Geller this is the balance and brighten I'm decluttering this but I've used so much of this I feel like I got worth the money so finishing a foundation setting sprays I used a make it last setting spray and two Kula minis so this has SPF 30 this one is really good for like reapplying SPF and this one is really good I love this so three setting sprays two complete lip glosses one in Amy one in Dominique and I'm almost finished with Celeste um, and a soft matte cream in Abu Dhabi by NYX also an elf what is this this is the prismatic lip gloss I do have some more lip glosses that I finished but they're not in here I finish a sequin by what is this Super Shock Shadow by uh, by Colourpop. I finished Super Shock Shadow. Um, it, the texture started getting weird, but I love sequin. And then the Tardiest. I know I have more concealers than this, so there will definitely be another empties video coming up. And this is the Tardiest um, mascara. I really do like this, and I have some more. So I, would I repurchase it? Not in the near future, but I have this, and I really do like it. Okay, you guys, those are my makeup and skincare empties. I hope you found this helpful. It definitely made me think about what I use. I use moisturizers, setting sprays, obviously. Um, I use BB creams. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.